I took away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If we play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Button Checker? Welcome back to yet again. Hey, welcome to another episode of Checking These Buttons. We're that much closer to the weekend. Chapters down below if you want to skip around. And of course, that sub button right there. You already know the drill. Thank you guys so much. We still haven't had that cross-up claim. They got one more day, so stay tuned. Anyway, without further ado, we got the hottest of buttons. So let's go ahead and check them. Let's go. All right, next up for them first set of buttons, that FGC University is the actual thing. It'll make, se it'll make sense in a second here. So first off, I wanna thank Carlos Johnson for tagging me in the story, man. I appreciate the love. Also, first up, so apparently um, at Berkeley, right? They actually have a fighting game course. People were just talking about it yesterday. Let's unpack it. Okay, Andreas posted this saying, dude, Berkeley has a fucking fighting game course this semester to take you to a mid-level FGC player. Oh my God. And then you see the screenshots here. Uh, basically showing you what the course is, right? Right here you see it says the Art of Fighting Game, Spring 2000, obviously this, this year, Japan 98. So right here it says about the course, if you wanna learn how to play fighting or play fighting video games like Street Fighter, you've come to the right place. Welcome to 1980s Japan, you're a salary man coming home from a long day of work, but before you return home to stop to the cultural haven of entertainment industry at the time, the arcade, arcades and the particular fighting games have always been a pillar of Japanese culture and media for reference in pop culture to a vast esports scene surrounding the genre. The modest origin of fighting games and arcades has has evolved into a global phenomenon uniting community, competition, and culture all through the unlikely medium of games. Although the genre of fighting games has always been infamous for being difficult genre of video games due to its seemingly higher levels of execution, in this course, we are aiming to help bring beginners to a mid-level play with guided assistance to offer the smoothest introduction to the world of fighting games. This class is designed to be an introduction to fighting games geared towards people with less than 100 hours in the genre. Additionally, we will also explore beyond the game itself and spend some time focusing on the community, history, and impact of fighting games of Japanese culture. Besides fighting game skill and knowledge, this course is also designed to serve as a gateway dam. And of course, that FGC is reacting with hilarious, <laughs> with hilarious responses. First up, Hug says, appealing to the dean when the professor fails me on the final. You can see right here, it says, opinion, I tech that. <laughs> <laughs> down below, what the hell just happened? You saw when uh, he just grabbed me, right? There, definitely, I tech that. And next up, Robocop dude says, me on the test when the professor's last character on the team is Virgil with level three <laughs> X-Factor. And Buck saying, imagine the exam proctor catches you with the hitbox and you get hit with the academic integrity violation. <laughs> Oh, hater. Hitbox hater. Anyway, that was that was hilarious. And wrapping it up with Sage Jam says, this is actually cool. Whichever professor is doing this, give me a ring if you need a sick day and I'll pull up to play Wick for the afternoon. Damn, so it's an actual thing. How come school couldn't be this legit when, I, you know, back in my day? Either way, I like that part where it said not only the game, but it's to, we're gonna get like behind the scenes and to learn about the community. Can you imagine them students learning about the FGC? I mean, you're gonna talk about your excellent adventures, your LTGs, you're gonna talk about your button checks. If button check in it, in, it ain't, fuck, I can't talk. If button check ain't in that course, what the fuck, it's, it's, it's bogus. How dare you, <laughs> how dare you? Y'all just leave Berkeley. It's not credited the way it's supposed to be. Y'all go to a different one that's teaching button check. And that's me saying this in the most humble way possible is button check is the best thing in the universe ever created by God. That's just being humble. Anyway, back to this, it just seems cool as hell. How y'all feel it? Let me know. All right, next up for these Tekken 8, right? The official launch trailer just released today, a couple hours ago. Let's check it out. This is my first time watching it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. I was saving this for you guys. I speak now to all of humanity. I announce opening the King of Fist tournament. That's what's up. But be warned, those who fail to prove their might shall be wiped from the earth along with their country. Come on, Jin. The battle to decide the ranks of the new world wow. begins now. I love it. I love it. I was born for this. She looked like Vader and makes I get a load of this. She went poison or threat, and I was out of this. After rocking a gold, I'm not a nine of the 
fighters will battle for personal glory and the fate of their country. Damn, that's it. I'll give Kazuya a nice smack in the face. Kore de subete no peace ga sorotta. Takusareta kibou. Kishite no mechi. Count, I swear. 32 playable characters. Come on, Kuma. Online fight lounge. There we go. Ooh, I'm getting excited. People of the world, lose yourself. Oh. That is what's up. It is coming out. What well, like that? I initially I thought it was a couple of weeks, but it's like eight days. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy hype. That's actually my favorite type of anime. Now, hang on. What I'm saying is when I watch animes, anytime they have like the type of scenario where like it's a tournament, you know what I'm saying? Like a what's the one I'm watching now? It's like Battle of Ragnarok, something like that. Um, you got your Baki. Um, you got there's a lot of other ones, right? But I love that scene. I love that. The plot, you know what I'm saying? I love the heart of the story when it's a tournament and the best of the best is fighting. And in this case, they're like, yo, you're fighting not only for yourself, but you're finna get your whole damn country wiped out. That's what's up. I love that premise. All right, starting for the top three comments underneath that video. First one saying, Reyna getting in front of Kazuya's beam gave me chills. Next up, Reyna hitting us with the main character moment at the end there. And last but not least right here saying, after almost nine years, Tekken 8 is finally coming. Can't wait to play this masterpiece. But underneath that, somebody responds to it saying, it's coming and so am I. Well, there you go. And next up for that Street Fighter VI Japan, Ken Propaganda continuing buttons that need to be checked. So Y'all remember Phenom, right? A couple weeks ago, he was posting, I think he was at like Fab Cup or something like that. He was posting like all these Japanese players in their prediction, or, you know, he was asking them who their top five would be in Street Fighter VI. Namely to do it to prove that a lot of people say Ken is top five. He was trying his best to prove that Ken was not top five, right? A lot of it was hilarious. Everybody was responding to that. And you thought Phenom would done. You thought he would be done, but he's not. He posted this, I think it was just today, right? Right here saying, in the 10 interviews I had with Japanese top players, two players put Ken at fifth. One player put him fourth. The remaining seven put him sixth or seventh. However, nine out of 10 players put Luke minimum top three, and seven out of 10 players put Chun-Li, minimum of top three. JP got the most ones. And the most recurring top three list was JP, Luke, and Chun-Li. This was the top three that was repeated the most overall. So there you have it. The man still trying to prove that case. You know what I'm saying? And of course, FGC's reacting, some hilarious ones, people saying, so you're saying that 10 out of 10 were held at gunpoint, three out of 10 disappeared without any evidence, and seven out of 10 received an undisclosed amount of money from an offshore account. Uh, next up, we see uh, the Crimson saying, Ken is top five, whether they admit it or not. That's a fact. They're doing that just to avoid him getting nerfed. Then Meta, you know Meta's been in this from day one. He actually responds to that saying, bro, outside of you not asking any Luke players their opinion, but involving four Kens in the conversation, if I was asked under the conditions y'all asked those players, even I would say Luke is number one, is Ken, and, and Ken is number nine or whatever. It's saying that or being shot in the leg. Big Bird sees that and responds saying, I still remember what you told me when I saw you in Fav Cup. Man, Ken really has fallen off the tears, huh? The character got pushed out fast. And Mena simply responds to that saying, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you over here making shit up, right? And then of course, FGC continues to react and it gets hilarious from there. But then you gotta give it to Phenom. The man is still doing it. He's still like, yo, Ken is not that good. But Mena brings up a good point, right? Basically saying like, you're asking these guys but why don't you ask some, but why don't you ask some Luke players? You know what I'm saying? Ask somebody else, go to a different country. Cause even people in the comments are like, okay, now do it. Do top players from a different country as well and watch there be different answers. A lot of people believe the only reason why they're saying it is because they simply don't want, you know, the devs to catch wind of it and to get their character nerfed. But remains to be seen. And what also remains to be seen is Capcom Cup is right around the corner. And we're gonna finally see 
Once and for all, which character dominates or takes it home? How y'all feel it? Let me know. There it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you were feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love. Quick shout out to the latest Patreon, Brian John, who actually became a free member. What I noticed is some people, a lot of people actually have been becoming free members and then like some days will pass and they'll actually become paid members or you know, whatever. Either way, I thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. There it is one more time. Thank you guys for the amazing love. Be sure to watch the last video. I think it was on yesterday, right? Not only did we announce the new winner for the cross up, but MK1, right? The community manager, the devs and whatnot have fired back have spoken to the community because you know MK1 has been getting dragged, right? So anyway, they responded, FTC is responding back to them. That link is down below. Definitely check it out. Thank you guys for the amazing love as always. If we don't post tomorrow, it'll definitely be the next day. And I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. And now and for that moment of FGC bliss, this one right here comes to us from Red Bull Gaming, right? I'll put their link down below, check it out. So Red Bull Kumite is coming back um, this year and it's in New York. Oh my God, I do plan 100% to go to New York this year. I don't know if it's gonna be for this time frame, but it's happening March 16th and the 17th. And they did a dope promo, right? You got Punk, you got Mena, you got Big Bird. I mean, I love the way they did it. The vibe, it's very East Coast, love it to death. So like I said, I'll definitely put that link down below, but the moment that stuck out to me is somebody by the name of uh, Ultimalio, if I'm saying that correctly, said, nah, bruh, why they gotta give men of the Carl pose? I can't unsee this. And then he puts it side by side. <laughs> yo, I never would've got that. I never would've picked it out, but it definitely is the Carl pose. Hey, yo, uh, Ultimalio, thank you for making my day, bro. Y'all take it easy.